Greetings and salutations, this is Spellycat, and welcome back to Doggone Rapa 2, Goodbye Despair. We are just about to head to the first class trial, which Monokuma said was his face on a rock in the central island. So, I can't believe Byakuya is dead. Like, how does it even make any sense? I'm really confused now, that's all I know. I told us to gather a place called Monokuma Rock. I have a feeling there's a rocky mountainside place over there. Mountainish mountain place over there. Okay. Hello there. I don't know where I'm going, like, at all. Ah, I see. There it is. That's it, Monica Maroc. <laughs> okay, cute. Huh? Are you kidding me? Hey, what the heck is that mountain? When did that get here? Never mind that. How did they even make a mountain shaped like Monokuma? No way. That story. That story might be true after all. There might be an enormous organization involved in all this. You mean what Byakuya said before, right? You are right. Byakuya, we still needed his knowledge. <laughs> I still can't believe he's dead. Neither can I. <laughs> what happened to Gundam and Fuyuko? Um, now that you mention it, it appears they aren't here yet. I got it! Oh, I know, they probably ran away! No way! Aw, oh, hell no! Nah. There's no way I'd let them escape, you know? Look, I dragged this one back over here! Don't fuck with me! I'm telling you, let me go! Hey! Hey now. now! If you keep acting violent, I might just eat you up! Hey! Hey, Fuyuko, where were you all this time? What were you doing all the time, rather? Huh? Nothing. I wasn't really doing anything. I was just chilling in my room when I suddenly heard that fat bastard got killed. Who the fuck cares about that anyway? You. How can you say something so irresponsible? Do you understand? We've been doing our best to investigate this murder, even though we don't want to, just to survive. Wait! Mahiru, that's enough. You're too, Fuyuko. Dumbass. Um... And I guess we're waiting for Gundam. What happened? I am right Sinner. here. Now then, Remember let this us well! Begin. A main character arrives when he intends to! That's a different earring, isn't it? Huh? Hey! It seems you noticed it too. <laughs> if he if I did, then I'm right. Well now! Alright, now that everyone's all together! Let's take the secret entrance to the trial field! Wait! Please wait a second! What's this? My mom, hold on me! Just what are you doing here? Nobody asked for you! I... I... Well, what? Huh? You actually want to join in? You masochistic Do you mascot. want to taste how powerless you are at the class trial? You're an even bigger masochist than I thought! Special bleeding Oh, well! Wow. I'm a big brother who dotes on his little sister! I shall allow your special participation! See ya! I'll later. go on ahead and wait for you guys, so hurry over! Huh? He told us to come, but how do we get there? I don't see any doors or vehicles. What's going on? He mentioned something about a secret entrance, was it? Secret entrance? <laughs> oh, what the? Something's shaking. Oh, uh this is dangerous! Everyone, please get down! Oh, it's an escalator! Cool! <laughs> Something came out? No way. Could it be? Is he telling us to enter it? What? Such a suspicious aura! Even Crimson Steel Elva Mega Z is trembling with fear! Oh, poor little one just scared! Oh, that's so totally suspicious! 
Hey, 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 hey! Forgive me, seriously, just forgive me already. Ah, uh, hey, why don't we just stop here? I mean, none of this is real anyway. Like, not even remotely. No way, no way, no way! There's just no way we'll find the killer. Stupid! <laughs> Complaining won't get us anywhere. If you're really a man, then man up for God's sake. We've come this far. We have no choice but to keep moving forward. You're right. There's nowhere for us to run. We need to do it. Hmm. If that's everyone's decision, I'll just follow you guys. Yep. If this were a video game, I'd have I, it'd have a very high difficulty level. Let's do our best to clear the game. <clears throat> Actually, I set it to set it to easy mode because, duh. Shaking with fear and nervousness, I hesitantly lifted my feet and stepped onto the escalator. I won't think anymore. If I think, I'll run away. All I can do is tear up what it is. And when each of us entered Monaco, Morocco. Okay then. Huh? This is an elevator. I see. This entire rock is an elevator. <sighs> Once again, Monokuma is doing what he pleases. However, if he's gone this far and made something like this, I don't think he's playing around. <sighs> Even so, we're going pretty deep. You're right. I heard an unnerving chattering sound inside my head. I soon realized it was the sound of my teeth. All I could do was purse my lips tightly so everyone else couldn't hear it. I mean, we've got to be underwater now, right? There we were, listening to the unpleasant roars as the elevator plunged deeper and deeper into the earth. Some time passed before the elevator finally finished ascending. Yeah, we're totally underwater right now. And then the elevator door slowly opened. Welcome! Ta -da! This is the class trial field! How do you like it? It's a special place that will decide your fate! Why, you? What the hell is he thinking, locking us in a shitty looking place like this? Don't fuck with me! Are you fucking crazy? Don't mess with me, asshole! <laughs> Come play all you like! I'm used to it by now! <laughs> Come on, you're wasting your time and energy! Hurry up and take your seats where your names are written! It looks like everyone knows. Even if we try to re resist, it won't change a thing. Just as Monokuma ordered, we walked toward the seats we had been assigned. From this point on, we need to find out who killed Byakuya. The ultimate affluent progeny, Byakuya Togami. He was overly critical, arrogant, and condescending. But he also had a strong sense of responsibility. As we were panicking, he accepted his role as leader and tried his very best to keep us together. A guy like him... ...got murdered. Coolio! The person who did it is one of us? I can't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. But if it's really true... We need to find out by any means possible. Because that's our only option. There is no way for us to survive unless we sacrifice the killer. So, the slicer and trial building with hope and despair has begun. I mean, sure. Okay. Oh, maybe he put it there just in case.
That's not true, though. I think that's all I need to go through. I don't even have any skills, I don't. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person... I'll punish everyone besides <laughs> the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. S such a cruel rule. Before we begin, I'd like to confirm one thing. Is there really a killer among us? Most definitely! There is no doubt that the Blackened is lurking among you! Such a sad state of affairs, isn't it? By the way, this class trial is gonna be 100% fair! So there's no need to worry! I'm the type who hates favoritism and prejudice. Well, not as much as I hate Monami, of course! You hate me that much? <laughs> now, let's begin! Y you're telling us to begin. What are we supposed to do? No complaining, let's just settle this with our fists. Were you even listening to the rules? Didn't that Biakuya bastard get killed in the dining hall, huh? Then everyone there is a fucking suspect. Yeah, yeah, what you're really trying to say is that you're not the killer, right? No shit. You guys went off on your own and started killing each other. This has nothing to do with me. Is that huh? true, yeah? What does that mean? <clears throat> anyway, why don't we try talking about the most pressing issue on our minds? Huh. The most pressing issue on our minds? Where we found the body. It's very strange to find a body underneath the table. Then, let's start with that mystery. The reason why Byakuya's body was discovered under the dining hall table. We can start with that. Ultimately, we need to find out who murdered him. Who murdered him? We can't do that. No. Thinking about if is a waste of time. We have to do this no matter what. Why was Byakuya's body in a place like that? His body was underneath the table at the very back of the dining hall. After the killer murdered Byakuya, they probably moved the body there. Huh? Why? Obviously by hiding the body. They tried to delay its discovery! No, that's like not what happened. Like a dog burying a bone! The body was moved. Yep. Why was Byakuya's <clears throat> body in a place like that? His body was underneath the table at the very back of the dining hall. After the killer murdered Byakuya, they probably moved the body there. Nope. No, that's wrong. They couldn't have moved it. No, I don't think the killer moved the body. Huh? Why? Try to remember what the body looked like when we found it under the table. 
Though there was a lot of blood everywhere, there was no sign the killer actually dragged the body through it. So that's why you think it's impossible that the killer moved the body. I see. I get your point. Oh, and here I thought I had a genius idea. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad you're so stupid and boring and unpopular. Your life is meaningless. God, she's me. I respond better to praise, you know. But if the killer didn't move the body, why was it under the table? Byakuya was probably killed under the table. What? You think he was killed under the table? So Byakuya snuck under the table for reasons unknown. And that's when he was killed. I think I know why he went under there. Then, shortly thereafter, we found his body under the table. Th that does make sense, but why did he go under the table? Obviously, he was hiding so he could surprise us. That dude was always a big jokester. Yeah, no. The hell he was? You seriously couldn't tell what kind of person he was? Maybe he panicked during the blackout and dove under the table. No, it's, there's more to it than that. It's a blackout, not an earthquake. But just because the power went out doesn't mean he'd dive under the table. <laughs> the reason why is probably connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party, don't you think? Before the party even started, Byakuya was being unusually cautious about any dangerous items. If that's the case, he dove under the table because of that. I can prove it with this! It probably has something to do with the knife we found under the table. Knife? Oh! You mean that thing that obviously screams, I am the murder weapon! Byakuya probably noticed the knife was hidden there. So in order to get it, he moved under the table. He was particularly sensitive to the presence of dangerous items, so I cannot deny that possibility. But how did he notice that there was a knife under the table? If he knew beforehand, he probably would have done something about it before the blackout, right? Then, instead of knowing about it beforehand, maybe he saw it right at that moment. Like, for example, he might have seen someone trying to take the knife out from under the table. No. That's not possible. What? You seem rather confident about that. Of course. I have proof to back me up. <laughs> this is almost like a real trial! During the previous fate, there was only one... Yep. Yep, no, I got it. <clears throat> yeah, no, I, I get it. sure Byakuya ducked under the table during the blackout. That sounds correct. If that's the case, during the blackout, Mr. Ham Hands must have seen the killer take the knife. But it was super pitch black. It was so dark I couldn't see my food. <laughs> Byakuya couldn't see in the dark either. I doubt he could have seen the killer. Okay, I think I know what to do here now. Yeah, it's pretty I'm it's sure pretty Yakuya obvious. ducked under the table during the blackout. That sounds correct. If that's the case, during the blackout, Mr. Ham Hams must have seen the killer take the knife. But it was super pitch black. It was so dark I couldn't see my food. Byakuya couldn't see in the dark. 
No, that's wrong! No, Yakuya was probably the only one who was able to see in the dark. Why do you say that? He was using those night vision goggles we found under the table. He could have seen what was happening. So... Are you saying Diakuya was the one who used those night vision goggles? Had to be. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Your reasoning is out of focus! No, that's obviously wrong. It should be the other way around. Other way around? Seriously? The killer used those night vision goggles, not the Akuya. I don't think so. Just me, you me. I was also surprised. Just kidding, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh huh. Yep. Rebuttal showdown, okay. No! No! I don't want to do this! This is gonna be a pain in the ass, I don't want it! Show the person tried to contact you was using a very long vacation. Two bullets and called two blades. Okay. Yeah, I don't like this already. Okay. If you just use common sense, the killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it! If you just use common sense... The killer obviously used those night vision goggles! That's gotta be it! Damn it! If you just huh? use common sense... I don't understand this at all! The killer obviously used those night vision goggles! That's gotta be it! Damn it! I don't understand this at all. This is fucking stupid. The old system was a lot easier. If you just use the killer, obviously use those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. Where's your proof that the killer used them? Because if they use night vision goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. I mean, in reality, so those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene! What? Because if they used night vision goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even if- I mean, in reality. So those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene! Allow me to cut through those words! Whatever, that makes no sense to me, but sure, why not? No. Byakuya was definitely the one who brought those night vision goggles. Definitely? But why? Inside the Duralumin case Byakuya had with him during the party, we found a smaller case for storing the night vision goggles. Which means we can assume that the night vision goggles were kept inside that Duralumin case as well. Woohoo! I said assume! Ibuki never uses such clever language. Plus, Byakuya was the only one who could have taken the night vision goggles out of the case. Since he was carrying it around before the blackout in the first place. I see. When you put it like that, it makes sense. Then, was that knife inside the case too? If there were night vision goggles inside, it wouldn't be weird for a knife to be in there too. It would be weird. I am weird, aren't I? At times like this, I'd rather be fantasizing about 
tonight's main dish. Ooh, you totally mean that in a perverted way. That was brought in the case along with the night vision goggles too. No, that's not possible. The knife was hidden in the dining hall before the party even started. At least the knife was hidden behind proof. I see! Duct tape, obviously. There was duct tape left under the table where the body was found. Huh? Duct tape? They probably hid the knife by duct taping it to the underside of the table. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that's why we found duct tape there. Though Byakuyo was thorough, even he couldn't have noticed a weapon taped to the underside of the table. This may be off topic, but why was Byakuya acting so paranoid? Not only did he bring a self-defense kit, but he had night vision goggles inside the case too. That's true. He went above and beyond being a little cautious. Now that you mention it, that applies to the dangerous items he confiscated as well. It's one thing to be a little cautious, but performing a body check is a bit much. He probably knew someone was planning to commit a murder. Are you saying he predicted the murder? Could it be? Was he also in possession of the all-seeing eye? He just kills it for me. <laughs> you think so too, right, Hajime? I do, actually. Probably knew because the specific item notified him in advance. I can prove it with this! Everyone, can you please take a look at this? Careful, the first kill will happen tonight, someone will definitely kill someone! Hey, what the hell is this? Hajime and I found this in Byakuya's cottage. It looks like a threatening letter someone sent to him. So, who's the someone? Nobody besides Monokuma would write such a dumb, threatening letter like that. Wasn't me! Are you sure? <laughs> the only lies I tell are friendly lies! Those are still lies! It doesn't yeah, matter yeah. who wrote it yet. So, Yakuya became paranoid because of this threatening letter? He probably decided to throw a party because of the letter. What do you mean? By gathering everyone in one place, he tried to create a situation where everyone could keep tabs on each other. In doing so, he tried to put the writer of the letter in a situation where they couldn't act. But the letter might have been just a little prank. No. As long as he was determined not to let any of us die, he couldn't take that risk. His strong sense of responsibility made him believe the letter was legitimate. He should have told us he received a threatening letter. If he had, we would have panicked. Byakuya probably knew that too. So, he tried to do something about it without telling anyone? I see. A strong sense of responsibility as our leader was his undoing. Screw that noise! Who the hell wrote that letter? Well, obviously, the killer. Maybe not. The killer. Is it really one of us? Who is it? Among us, who's the one who killed Yakia? <laughs> Enough already! Show yourself, you coward! If they were willing to come forward, they never would have committed a murder in the first place! True. Still, I can't believe it. Someone in this room killed Yakia. There's no way I can believe that yet. Um, pardon me. Can I say something, please? What is it, Miss Sonia? I regret that I must return to this topic, but I just realized something concerning the night vision goggles. If Byakuya was indeed wearing those goggles, how did the killer manage to navigate in the dark? You're right. They wouldn't have been able to see anything without the night vision goggles. But if the murderer had the goggles when they took the knife, then how did Byakuya see them? Even if the knife bore some sort of mark, it would have been difficult to see it in that darkness. No, the killer definitely used the mark. Because of this mark, the killer was able to get into the... Yep, there's the paint. Okay. I see! What if the glowing paint was the mark? 
With that, you'd be able to get the knife even in the dark. In actuality, the knife we found under the table and the duct tape stuck to the underside of the table were both marked with glowing paint, right? Does that mean the killer painted them in advance? They'd have to. But painting them with glowing paint? It's as if they knew the blackout was going to happen. They did know the blackout was going to happen. They had to have already known. That's why they used the glowing paint as a mark. Which means whoever set up the blackout is the killer. That seals it. The killer is whoever was in the office with the circuit breaker. Which means it was you, Peko Pekoyama! <laughs> Peko killed poor Byakuya? Was this island not big enough for two glasses wearers? I am not the killer. Oh, I guess she's not. How can you believe her so easily? But with Peko's height, I don't think she'd be able to reach the circuit breaker in the office. I, I don't care about a technicality like that. Peko's the one who tripped the breaker and caused the blackout. By tripping the breaker directly from the office, Peko was the one who caused the blackout. Is that really what happened? <clears throat> okay. Since Pekka was in the office, she could have caused the blackout at any time! That's impossible. Huh? Why is it impossible? Because I was not in the office. Not even before the blackout. Oh, yeah. What happened to your guard duty? Sorry. Oh, you weren't in the office? Clearly a desperate excuse! Okay, I got it. Versus testimony is clear that Pekka was inside the office. Yeah, I got it. Pekka was somewhere else. Yeah, she was in the bathroom. Since yeah, Pekka was in the office, she could have caused the blackout at any time! That's impossible. Huh? Why is it impossible? Because I was not in the office. Not even before the blackout. I agree with that. No, I think Pekko is telling the truth. Mm hmm. Don't tell me you're crushing on Pekko. And yet, it's nothing like that at all. Nikomaru's account is actually Pekko's alibi. Remember? He was trying to go to the bathroom, but he couldn't get in there because the door was shut. It's true. Someone was occupying the bathroom for a long time shortly after the party started, and it was finally freed up after Byakuya's body was discovered. Uh, then the person who was in the bathroom that whole time was actually... Had to be. Everyone else besides Pekka was in the dining hall after the party started, right? I see. So there's no way anybody else could have locked themselves in the bathroom except Pekka. Mm -hmm. I... I guess that would be... True. You locked yourself in the commode? You should have said so earlier! There's no way she'd actually say that. Gosh, you are so insensitive. Right? If she locked herself in the bathroom for that long, there's no doubt. It's shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no way she'd admit it. Oh there's God. no way she'd admit she was taking a shit. Hey, weren't you guys taught any basic manners? Or were you raised in a locker room? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's fine. How about we stop talking about this and move on to something else? Don't worry. The smell wasn't that strong. I used the bathroom right after you, so you can trust me. Oh my god! I said it's fine. <laughs> but still, you were in the bathroom for a really long time. Did you get food poisoning or something? I was wondering the same thing, actually. As soon as I stepped into the office, 
I felt this sudden rush of pain in my stomach. Because of that, I was unable to leave the bathroom, including when the blackout occurred. Hey, how did it feel to do your business in the dark? Did you get Oh my excited? god, he's disgusting! Seriously, stop it. But still, your stomach pain. Was that really just a coincidence? Hey, what's the deal? Don't butt into other people's business, especially if you didn't do any investigating. <laughs> I'm only butting in because you fucking idiots are out of your element. Stop this childish nonsense. Just what do you mean by coincidence? What I mean is, is it possible someone slipped her some laxatives? Laxatives? If so, the killer could have tripped the breaker as soon as that girl left the office, don't you think? I see. That might have happened. The question is whether her stomach ache was a coincidence or someone caused it on purpose. Depending on the answer, it's uh huh. Right. <clears throat> Did you eat anything weird? I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you mention it... You brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Taro Taro cooked the food, how suspicious! I, I wouldn't do anything like that! I don't think he would either. Laxatives would ruin the taste! Okay. So much hammer the dishes than I call it. I believe that would have affected. Because Pekka wasn't the only one who ate those dishes. Did you eat anything weird? I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you mention it, you brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? No, that's wrong! No, it's impossible that laxatives were slipped into the food in the dining hall. Because Pekka wasn't the only one who ate that food. Akane ate some of it too. If the food had laxatives in it, I'm pretty sure Akane would have had stomach issues as well. I feel totally fine! Like I said, the, the dishes are innocent. Don't go making weird accusations. I apologize for causing a scene. Fuyuhiko should apologize, not you. He's the one who made the laxative accusation. What the fuck did you say, bitch? Sees this bickering. Let's just dismiss Pekko's stomachache as a coincidence and go back to discussing the blackout. Yeah, yeah. We already know that, you trashy skank. You don't have to tell us. Trashy skank? Gank. But it wasn't a coincidence. Like uh, ourselves are actually important. I don't I, no. Whatever. Who tripped the breaker and how did they do it? If you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you on the head. Did they throw a stone and hit it? Maybe they used a remote control? They probably messed with the breaker. It does not have to be the breaker. They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitters. Or maybe they caused a power surge? I bet it's really Monokuma's fault. By the way, I'm not a trashy skank! And how did they do I it? I can't believe I'm already fucking lost. If you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you on the head. Did they throw a stone and hit it? Maybe they used a remote control? They probably messed with the breaker. It does not have to be the breaker. They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitters. Or maybe they caused a power surge? I agree with that. Just 
just as Mahi Wu said. The blackout was caused by a power surge. Of course, that's not a coincidence. Someone caused it intentionally. Which is why those three irons were arranged to cause the blackout. When you found them right after the blackout, the irons were still on, right? So by leaving those irons on in the storage room, they deliberately caused a power surge. Yeah, it seems that's how the killer caused the blackout. Stupid fool! Well, kind of. Hold on a second, let me speak too! What the heck? You say the irons in the storage room were used to trigger the blackout? That's inexcusable! It wasn't just that, though. It was also the AC. If the irons in the storage room caused the black, then for the killer to turn the irons on. You're saying they went all the way to the s- Then that means everyone who was in- When the blackout occurred, can't be a suspect. No, just because people were in the dining hall, doesn't mean they're not a suspect. But the people in the dining hall weren't able to cause the black. If the irons caused the black, then the killer had to go to the storage room before that. Shit. Damn it! If the irons in the storage room caught them for the killer to turn the irons on. You're saying they went all the way to the storage room? Then that means everyone when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. No, just because people were in the dining hall doesn't mean they're not a suspect. But the people in the dining hall weren't able to cause the blackout. If the irons caused the blackout... Allow me to cut through those words! Ugh, I don't like this one. I like the bullet tying shit better. The irons are just one reason the blackout occurred. But they weren't the direct trigger. The direct trigger was when the air conditioners in the dining hall and office clicked on. The air conditioners! The timers for both air conditioners were set to 11.30 p.m. 11.30 p.m.? Mr. Ham Hams died around that time, too! I see. When the timers activated the air conditioners, the breaker was tripped and caused a blackout. I see! I understand! Indubitably! Indubitably? They probably checked the old building's energy usage in advance and used the irons to nearly max it out. Yep. So once they set the air conditioner's timers, they just had to wait until they started up on their own. If so, even if Pekka was in the office, it still would have been possible to cause a blackout indubitably. Indubitably? Miss Sonia, not you too. Regarding the energy usage, they probably asked Monokuma about it. Dun dun dun! <laughs> Is she right? Such a hateful bear! You deserve to die a thousand deaths! A thousand, you say? If I died that many times, I might really stay dead, you know? Shut up! You guys just stay quiet! I couldn't have prevented the blackout even if I was in the office. Even so, I feel regret. If I was in the office, I could have reset the breaker in time. And maybe the murder wouldn't have occurred. I don't think so. You couldn't have reached it. No. The breaker in the office was built into a high area of the wall that's impossible to reach. Resetting the breaker in that darkness would have been impossible. No matter what. Sounds like you don't need to blame yourself. Even so, the killer is so sly. I'm starting to worry we may never actually find them. It's all right. You don't have to worry. Because they're just a petty killer, right? They can't defeat symbols of hope like you guys. You totally fucking did it. Huh? There's no way everybody will lose now. This little incident will just be a stepping stone for you all. In the end, hope always wins. That's what I believe. I haven't trusted him. Nagito? What happened to you? Huh? What do you mean? Well, you have been saying this whole time that there's no way a killer could be among us. Oh, is that so? Well, let's just put that minor detail aside for now and talk about the incident. For now, we found out how the blackout occurred. But the question is, who caused it, Yeah, right? I don't trust this guy at all. Anybody could have hid and set the timers for the air conditioners. 
Setting up the irons in the storage room could have been done before Byakuya set foot in the old building. What a shame. Any one of us is capable of that. What are you implying? He's just saying. After all this time, we still haven't made any progress. Huh? Even though we have been arguing for so long? Unfortunately, it's the truth. Despite the fact that we've discussed this at length, there's not even one clue that leads to the killer. But that might be because... there's no way any of us could be a killer. You, you're changing your story again? Anyway, I have an idea about what we all should do at this point. Has anyone thought about our situation like this? Instead of surviving by doubting others, isn't it better to get killed for believing in others? Doesn't that mean... Are you saying we should all just give up and die? Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. <laughs> you guys only think there's something wrong with me because there's something wrong with you. Suspecting each other like this. There's no way that's healthy behavior. Let's stop this already. We don't have to find out who the killer is. I can't stand this anymore. I don't want to do this to my friends. I... I don't want to do this either. <sighs> me too! Please, take me home already! Ah, I want to go home and eat candy! S stop it. If everyone acts like this, I... I'm gonna... Everyone calm down. We're all friends, aren't we? There's no way one friend would murder another. Then why did Byakuya die? Who cares? Let's just give up already. There are no clues that lead to the killer anyway. Not a single one. That's wrong. I think... Did you say something? Guys, we've already found a clue that might point to who the killer is. That's true. You know who the killer is? The killer? I don't know. But we do have a clue about a suspicious person. I think. I see. Then care to tell me, what's this clue you're talking about? First of all, let's try thinking about how the killer was able to obtain the knife during the blackout. Didn't we already cover that? They use glowing paint as a mark. No, not that. I mean, before that. Oh, that's right. Before. Is she asking how the killer got close to the table? Even if they had to obtain the knife by relying on the glow from the paint in order to do that, they needed to get close to the table while it was still dark. Let's try examining the situation. My hero's diagram might be useful here. The diagram of where everyone was standing before the blackout, right? Um, here it is. Just as I thought, the diagram is the clue. Who the killer is and how they're able to move the table in the dark. Clearly shown in this diagram. Yep, 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 it sure is. First we need to discuss how the killer is able to move to the table in the dark. Yep. The killer probably used something to help him move in the dark. Yep, they sure did. Here! They sure did. The killer must have used the desk lamp to move to that table in the dark. Desk lamp? I hope you don't mean they turned on a light or something. There was a blackout. There's no way the killer could have used the desk lamp. Of course, there's no way he used the lamp light. It was the cord. I can prove it with this! They didn't turn the desk lamp on. They used its power cord. They could have felt their way to that table using the power cord, right? By doing that, the killer was able to move to the table and use the glowing paint to find the knife. And there's only one person here who could have done that. Ooh. The person who reached the table feeling along the power cord? A person would have been able to grab the lamp's cord right when the blackout happened. 
honestly... It was only... Who else You're could he pick? One. Nagito, it was you, wasn't it? Me? Judging from everyone's positions before the blackout, the only person near the power cord was you. Which means, the only one who could have felt their way to the table using the power cord was... Nagito! <laughs> That's just a coincidence! But still, you had a chance, right? A chance to hide the knife under the table? Oh yeah! Let's see. see! Nagito, weren't you cleaning the dining hall all morning? If so, you would have had a chance to hide the knife. That's... If you factor in the power cord and the time you spent cleaning, you're the only one who could have done it. Seriously! That's all just a coincidence! If it was just one coincidence, it'd be fine. But when it's one right after another, I wonder... Is something like that even possible? Could it be? Did you give yourself cleaning duty on purpose so you could hide the knife under the table? Now that you mention it, Nagito did prepare the drawing to pick who cleaned the dining hall. Indeed he did. You rigged the drawing, didn't you? That's how you got picked to clean the dining hall, isn't it? I don't know if you're the killer or not, but regardless, it proves that you're suspicious, right? If that's the case, that strange speech you made earlier, that was part of your plan, too. You got us to lower our guard and tried to hide the fact that you did it. Didn't you, you motherfucker? Well, just admit it already! <laughs> Nagito, tell me you object to this. Frankly, I don't want to believe it either. We investigated together. You were so kind. I can't believe you're the one who killed Byakuya. <laughs> Nagito, say something! It really was you, wasn't it? <laughs> the ultimates are working together to combat the despair of their friend's death! Yeah, I had a feeling. Uh, how wonderful! How beautiful it is! Huh? Those eyes. At that moment, Nagito's eyes. The darkness in his eyes shone brightly as if layers upon layers of darkness were folding into each other. As if hope and despair had been crudely mixed together. Let's cut to the chase. You're correct. It was my doing all along. I'm the one who hid the knife under the table before the party started. I'm the one who used the power cord to find my way to the table in the dark. And of course, I'm the one who caused the blackout. After all, there's no way I'd knowingly whip out a knife in front of everyone, right? Uh, is it just me, or does he seem a little nuts right now? But... <laughs> I never expected Byakuya to have night vision goggles. Because of that, we had ourselves a little scuffle under the table. And, well, you all saw how that played out. But with a twist ending like this, I think we can all agree this ended up being a very interesting mystery. <laughs> Byakuya performed admirably. Just stop it already! Seriously! What the hell happened to you? Don't tell me. Is this your true nature? Were you lying to us this entire time? Me? Lie? That's outrageous. 
There's no way someone like me could ever lie to you guys. I understand better than anyone else that I'm ultimately worthless. I'm too arrogant to have dreams or cling to hope. I'm too disdainful to actually try at anything. I've made peace with the fact that I'm a lowly, stupid, insignificant human who can't do anything right. Damn. Holy crap! He's totally the type of guy who spent his childhood killing neighborhood pets! He seems like the sort of person whose eyes light up while watching Friday the 13th. Just like me. Wait, what? That's quite the hobby you have there. But, like, now's not really the time to bring it up. This guy, is he... is he the real Nagito? Hey, Nagito! If you were behind all of this, then did you also send that threatening letter? Yep, I sure did. There's nobody else on this island whose handwriting is that painful to look at, right? But why would you send a threatening letter in the first place? I think... somewhere deep in my heart. I was probably hoping to find someone who would stop my evil deeds. Well, I bet if that really was my reason, at least some of you would feel sorry for me. Are you making fun of us? By threatening Byakuya, Nagito is likely able to manipulate his actions. Nagito was able to manipulate everyone to the scene where the murder would occur. Am I wrong? That reminds me. Nagito was the one who suggested I guard the office. Oh, I get it. If Paco was guarding the storage room, Nagito wouldn't have been able to use the irons. The threatening letter, along with all your suggestions, was all a trap to manipulate us. Yep, that's true too. But you're wrong about one thing. Uh, huh? What? I didn't need to rig the drawing for cleaning duty, you know? If that's true, then how did you conveniently get picked for cleaning duty? I see. Well... There's no way I'd expect you to remember it. Right. <laughs> worthless talent for a worthless human. I know how. Ironically enough. I see! You're the ultimate lucky student. Then... Did you? That's right. I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. You just relied on your luck? It's not just luck. It's true my talent sucks, but I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know? At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky, but it was actually the opposite. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty, just like I wanted. Enough. That... I don't care about that anymore. More importantly, why did you kill Byakuya? Answer me! Byakuya was a very capable leader. For someone like him to get killed... Oh, the despair it brings. It's that only really fit it? that you symbols of hope should use his death as a stepping stone to shine even brighter. That was my only motivation. You're not making any sense! Fine. Let's start the damn vote already. I'm ready to fucking kill this psycho. Please! Monokuma! Please! Wait! Huh? The fuck? Right. Um, 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 how should I put this? Um, it is not so really um, what are you saying? He's already confessed, hasn't he? I, I already know that, but... Uh, there's just 
happening on the screen? If it's only a little, then keep your mouth shut. Your ugly face is stressing me out. It makes me want to puke. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, for now, might I suggest we listen to what she has to say? I'm curious, but too. We know who the killer is. Simply listening is acceptable. However, I won't allow this to end with mere play. Now then, let us lift the curtain for our bloody spectacle. Right, because I said it's gentle, I don't have to worry about it. Killer is so obviously Nagito! Um... He has already confessed. Um, you know... That bastard Nagito is the one who did it! He killed Byakuya with a knife he hit! Oh, never mind! Mm -mm. Thanks for wasting our time, skanky bitch! Oh my god, she's horrible. Let's prepare to cast our votes. Why does Mikan think it's the same reason I am initially thought it was strange? Yes, exactly. Uh, I same reason I thought it was strange. That... The killer is so obviously Nagito! Uh, um... He has already confessed. That bastard Nagito is the one who did it. He killed Byakuya with a knife. No, no that's wrong. There is no way those wounds were made by a knife. That knife might not be the murder weapon. That's what you wanted to say, right, Nikon? What the hell are you talking about? It's obvious the knife was the murder weapon. You all think it's obvious. But uh, based on the entry wounds on Yakuya's body, the actual weapon should be roughly five millimeters in diameter. Five millimeters in diameter? That's like way skinnier than a knife. Exactly. Hey, that better be true. If you screwed up, I'll sell your fucking ass to a whorehouse. Damn, dude. <laughs> not a whorehouse. Hey, why are you threatening her? Is this what you're trying to say, Mikan? As long as we can't prove that the knife is the murder weapon, we can't assume that I'm the killer. That's true. What are you saying? No one else can be the killer. It has to be you. It doesn't have to be him hey, at all, though. Hey, don't blame me. Mikan's the one who said it. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Nagito. Are you still hiding something? Uh, hiding? Like... During the blackout, did something happen between you and Byakuya that we don't know about? Who knows? After all this, what else do you intend to hide? <laughs> that earring just killed me. Jeez, the moment your back's against the wall, you get all silent. You piss me off! What happened during the blackout? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ugh! If you cross your eyes like this, it gives you double vision. Oh my god. Don't get distracted. Our lives are at stake, you know? Huh? Whose life is at stake? Literally everyone. Seriously, how long is it going to take for you to understand the damn rules? Nobody can see in the dark, no matter how hard you think about it. The truth is beyond your sight. Don't you think that's a pretty clever metaphor? Despite the fact that it came from me? No, that's not it. Not it. What's not it? The truth is beyond your sight. No, that can't be it. There should be some way to find out. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, fuck. I missed what he said. Oh! 
can prove it with this! Even if we couldn't see what happened in the dark, I'm pretty sure someone could have heard it. Isn't that right, Ibuki? Oh, real? Well, not so surprised. You were the one who told me, remember? How everyone was shouting during the blackout? like this ah, don't step on my feet what the hell what's going on here this, this is ow turn the damn lights on i can't eat like this you know you guys where are you w wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen perhaps the breaker overloaded hold on a sec i'll go along the wall and do something about it. Such perceptive hearing. Impressive. I'd expect no less from the ultimate musician. It's a good thing your ears are awesome because your face, style, figure, and personality totally suck. She is so hateful. <laughs> You've cut me deep with your knife of truth. However, after hearing what Byakuya and Nagito said in the dark, what the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! It almost sounds like... Byakuya fought back against Nagito or something. Well, that's actually what happened. As a oh? sign of respect for Ibuki's talent, I have a small confession to make. I was actually shoved out from under the table by Byakuya. He... Shoved you out? Just as the blackout occurred, I hurried to duck under the table and grab the knife. But Byakuya, wearing his night vision goggles, caught me and shoved me right out from under the table. That's right. I'm so incompetent that I couldn't even grab the knife. So Byakuya stopped him when he was trying to get the knife. And he got shoved out from under the table before he could even grab it? Well, it sounds plausible. I mean, just from listening to what they both said at the time. What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! I could interpret it like that. No, actually. Now that I think about it, that sounds like exactly what happened. After getting shoved out from under the table, I was just as confused as you guys. I lost sight of the glowing paint. I didn't even know where the power cord was. Before I realized it, the lights had come back on, and Yakuya's body was lying under the table. Oh, hold on! Are you saying you're not the killer? From the very beginning, the idea to throw a party, hiding the knife, setting up the blackout, it was all going according to plan. But unfortunately, my plan failed. And all thanks to Byakuya's night vision goggles. What happened after that? Even I don't know. You failed? Th then you're not the one who killed Byakuya? Then we're right back to square one! How can that be? We spent all this time talking back and forth! Meaninglessness. What other word is brimming with so much despair? But you can't give up! You need to have hope. Do your best and move forward. Rising to the challenge again and again is why you guys are the symbols of hope. Keep saying that. Is Nagito really not the killer? I don't think so. Is this guy really the Nagito I knew before? No, there's no way I can say that. I just thought I knew him. But this whole time, I didn't know anything about this guy. I didn't know his true character. It's as simple as that. Is it though? But now's not the time to dwell on that. We need to find Byakuya's killer by any means possible. Because if we don't, we... We will die here. Suspended? Well now! Well then, the class trial has reached its climax, but... Okay.
Okay, here's a question for you. Huh? What's this? To those of you who figured out who it is, how about you try to guess the killer challenge? Try out the guess the killer challenge. Whoever fails to guess the right killer will have their say that it melt away like butter! Don't you fucking dare. But if you guess right, I'll reward you with ten billion dollars! You're such a liar. Ten billion? Of course, for those of you who don't know who the killer is, you can just continue on. Now then, what are you gonna do? I don't know who the killer is, so... I... Uh, yeah... Just kidding! You can't make a choice! There's no way you'd be able to guess who the killer is! That's what I figured. <laughs> and of course! There's no ten billion dollars either! Of course not. You're so evil! Villain! You truly are a villain! Sure, why not? May as well, right? I'm Mona Me! And my heart is throbbing like crazy right now! Okay. The group's leader, Byakuya, got killed! And his killer is among this group of students? No, I'm not gonna believe it! I'll never believe it! Cause I believe in everyone! So do your best! And don't forget to save regularly! Right. Well, what now? If the knife isn't the murder weapon, there's no definitive proof that I'm the killer. That's just true. There's a good Sh like Shut that. up! We'll be the judge of that. You, you say you were shoved away, but you can't actually prove it, right? That's right. Even if a different weapon was used, it does not mean Nagito has been cleared of suspicion. It kind of does, though. But, but there's another reason why I don't think Nagito is the killer. There's still more? Based on what we've discussed, Byakuya was killed under the table, right? Is there something wrong with that? Well, even if that's true, I feel Nagito looks, you know, clean. Nobody's ever complimented me on my appearance before. Not even my own mother. Wow. <laughs> Your There's no blood on him. I see. Are you trying to say something like, why didn't Nagito have any blood stains on him? I think I know why, though. If he wasn't yes. such a killer. Th that's it. Because under the table, there was a lot of blood splattered everywhere, right? There, there were indeed. even blood stains on the inside of the tablecloth. If he stabbed Byakuya to death, it's strange he did not get splattered with an appropriate amount of blood. I didn't get any blood on me. That is weird. <laughs> you just used something to block the blood, didn't you? Something that might have been used to block the blood splatter. What do you think it could have been? Hmm. I guess we did see something I could have used. Isn't that right, Hajime? Actually, it is correct. We found that other tablecloth. I can prove it with this. You're talking about the bloodstained tablecloth we found in the storage room, right? If there are blood stains on it, that settles it. Nagito used the tablecloth to block the blood splatter. Yeah, but did he though? But that was found in the storage room, right? Are you suggesting he hid it there after the murder? Exactly. You mean after the lights came back on? What would he have done if we'd seen him? That's true. The tablecloth was pretty big. So even if you tried to hide it and take it with you... Wearing a tablecloth, going under the table... 
hitting a knife in a blackout and stabbing someone. That's not just impossible for someone like me. Wouldn't it also be impossible for you guys, too? Th then what does it mean? Maybe the killer didn't necessarily stab Yakuya under the table. Oh. No, there's no mistake that the murder occurred under that table. Even the inside of the tablecloth was bloody. So there's no denying Yakuya was killed there. But that doesn't mean where Byakuya got stabbed and where the killer did the stabbing are the same, right? I don't understand at all! This would be Yaku got stabbed when the killer and the stabbing are different? Huh? Why'd you man? You look like you're onto something. Really? But it sounds like a riddle. I feel like I'm onto something, but still not clear what that is. Under the table, but not under the table. If it's somehow possible, it's the only way that makes sense. Moving forward, we should put aside all unnecessary preconceptions and just choose the answer. I think. Or I feel I can see something. Place is both under the table and not on the table. We need further under the table. Goodness gracious, I appreciate it. Okay, now I know how that works. I got it! The killer must have stabbed Byakuya from under the floorboards. Fucking duh, you guys. Under the floorboards? The floorboards in the old building are full of gaps, and there was no carpet laid out under the table. If they stuck the weapon through one of the gaps, they could have stabbed Byakuya to death. If so, that means the killer was able to get under the floorboards. Where? And how? I don't know that yet, but I have a feeling there's someone here who does know. That's right. 
I remember correctly, one person here should know how to get out of the floor horns. It's someone who's been trying to find a way into there for a while now. Only one person could have been trying to figure that out. It's you. You're, You're the only one down there. Hey Gundam, you dropped your earring in the dining hall, right? Yeah. Are you referring to the Hellhound earring? About that earring. I said, are you referring to the Hellhound earring? About that Hellhound earring. You dropped it beneath the floorboard, right? Ah, there it is. I found it truly in this Hellhound earring. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Just a bit longer and I would have reduced everything, including that old building, to ashes. However, it's just as the old legend said. The Hellhound Earring has returned to its owner, to me! Is it safe to say that that earring is the one hanging from your right ear? Huh? Could it be? Gundam wasn't wearing an earring during the investigation. And if he had it on by the time the class trial began... And that means Gundam was able to retrieve his earring from beneath the floorboards during the investigation. That's right. So, Gundam knows how to get under the floorboards. <laughs> it's understandable. After all, you fools only view the world through eyes of glass. But I am different. With the power of my four dark devas of destruction, it is of no concern. True. This is the evil fourth eye. Before the might of the evil fourth eye, all visual chaos is rendered asunder. Right. What should I do? I'm embarrassed just listening to him. <laughs> oh! Man up and speak more clearly! Fine, I shall tell you all. The answer was in the storage room. Which is why he was in such a hurry to get out of there. One of my four dark devas of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk, Jumpy, has seen beyond the chaos. A secret passage of doom leading to the underground lurks beneath a large assortment of random boxes. After securing a lighter from the supermarket, I threw caution to the wind and ventured below the floorboards. And as a result of that lonesome battle, I was able to recover the Hellhound Earring with my own two hands! Got it. <laughs> Tremble with fear, fools! Behold my power! Right. There he goes, blabbing about power and crap. You're ridiculous! You're just a breeder, you know? Anyways... It sounds like you can go under the floorboards from the storage room. I knew it had to be that of the bathroom. And that has to be how the killer did it. If the space beneath the floor is empty, it's not that far to move from the storage room to the dining hall. True, but who the hell was in there? I see. If they pass through the storage room, I understand why the tablecloth was put there. The killer lurked under the floorboards during the party, and from there... Stab! 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 Hmm. Are you sure? You don't like Stab! Stab! Stab? Should it sound more fleshy? Like... <laughs> no, I'm not talking about your sound effects. You're saying they snuck under the floorboards, but that means they would have had to leave the party. Right? Yeah, exactly. So, was there anyone who was able to do that? Then whoever wasn't at the party is the killer. They must be the one who was waiting under the floorboards. Who wasn't at the party again? I didn't participate, but I was guarding the entrance, remember? Monomi over there can be my witness, right? Yes! This Monomi over here is your witness! I believe there's no need to discuss this matter further, but... I was unable to leave the bathroom. We got that, yeah, we know. I was in the kitchen for a long time, but I frequently went to the dining hall to deliver my dishes. Um, 
only person who wasn't at the party. Judging from the photo I took before the blackout. Yeah. It is Chihiko. It obviously has to be him. Yay! It's decided! What the, what the fuck are you saying? I'm not the killer! Who knows, man? Oh, really? What happened to the tough guy who was saying stuff like, I can do it? <laughs> Don't mess with me! I'll fucking kill you! Yeah, you probably would. See? You're making threats again. Yep, yep, that's right. Things are starting to get exciting! Time with that nonsense. Okay. During the party, the killer... ...was lurking under the floor like a cockroach! And they could have stared at panties all day without going to the storage room in the dark. Is that true, Uyuhiko? Don't act like I'm the fucking killer! But when the party started, nobody saw you, you Wait know? A That's not true. Chiaki saw him. That means you have no alibi. No, that's wrong. No, Fuyuhiko definitely has an alibi. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Um... Oh, you're right. What happened? Oh, hey, what are you doing here? All over the place like this? Yep, remember, standing guard. Huh, how diligent of you. Yeah! I saw Fuyuhiko after the party started. There's no way he could have been waiting under the floor before then. You should have said that earlier, dumbass. Oh my god. It's still your fault. Like... Why were you even lurking around the old building in the first place? Shut up! Maybe there I really is a secret actually. passage to go under the floorboards from outside. And he came to spy. What'd you say, motherfucker? Oh, no! <laughs> wow, he got chewed out, but he looks super happy. Regardless, it's impossible to go under the floorboards from outside. Chiaki and I already confirmed that. That's true, you did indeed. Then someone definitely went under the floorboards through the storage room during the party. During the party? It was probably during the blackout. Well, if someone disappeared during the blackout, no one would have noticed. That's very true. But walking down that dark hallway to the storage room is like trying to make eggs benedict without any eggs. You're right. I couldn't even see the office in that darkness. And that room was much closer. But is it really impossible? It might be better if we examine that possibility a little bit more. It was super dark, you know? There's no way you'd be able to find your way to the storage room. I can't stop thinking about it. I feel like there's something overlooked. Clarity's sake, once again. It appears we're getting close to the final stage. The blackened or the spotless. Which is superior? I think it's time to settle this. Fire door. The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Moving to the storage room like that... It's like making a seafood bowl without fish! <laughs> Is it really not possible? What if they used a string like the cord? Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? Shit. Whoops! Crap! My bad! The hallway was really dark during the blackout. But I feel like this is the answer. Moving to the storage room like that. It's like making a seafood bowl without fish. Is it really not possible? What if they used a string like the cord? Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? I thought she was going to say there was another what path. Pain. I'm going to go with my gut. What if they used a light? It definitely sounds impossible. Wait, what? Am I wrong here?
The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Moving to the storage room like that... It's like making a seafood bowl without fish! Is it really not possible? What if they used a string like the cord? Okay, yeah, whatever. Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? What a pain, I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? I agree with that. It has to have a light, right? I know. The killer had a light with him. Oh, I was right? But where could they have found a light? There was one nearby for sure. See? It's written on the kitchen's equipment I totally list. spaced on that. Portable What? Okay, I guess. It's the portable stove. Portable stove? The portable stove isn't powered by electricity, and it's also small enough to carry around. Okay. So, the killer used the portable stove to move from the hallway to the storage room during the blackout. I honestly completely forgot about that thing. Let's see. I never considered the portable stove. But there's a hole in your argument. A hole? What kind of hole? It would be great if you could explain it to me in much more detail. Oh, I wasn't making a perverted joke or anything. It's really not a perverted joke. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> right. Repeating yourself just makes it even more suspicious. Now then, Hajime. Will you battle against me? No, that's wrong. Will you be able to break through my argument? Did you forget what Kazuichi said or he said the hall was too dark to see the awful? The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? I don't doubt what Kazuichi said. What are you trying to say? The reason Kazuichi couldn't was because the hallway was dark. So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway... Shit. Wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? Allow me to cut through those words! Nagito, did you forget? Or are you just pretending you forgot? Huh? What are you talking about? There should have been a wall that blocked light. I'm talking about the fire door in the hallway. If you close it, it would form a perfect wall in the hallway. Plus, the hallway rounds a corner just beyond the fire door. So even if there was a small gap in the door, as long as they passed the corner, the light still wouldn't peek out. I see. I actually noticed the fire door. Just as expected of the ultimate... Oh, you still don't remember your talent, do you? Who cares about that right now? Nagito, what are you plotting? For someone who insists he's not the killer, you are quite nosy. You sound so scary. If you're that angry, why don't you take a deep breath? You sure like to piss us off. How about I shut your fucking mouth for you? Hey! It's okay if you guys fight, but I won't allow a burly brawl that might offend people. More importantly, can you hurry up and decide who's the blackened already? Time runs out when I get bored. Fine, I get it. You're telling me to pass the torch, right? Pass the torch? We're going to ask the real killer, not an imposter like me, to show themselves. <laughs> You're obviously the killer, right? If you think I am, I really don't mind. Whatever conclusion you ultimates arrive at, I will accept it. He's no matter to what us it as ultimates, but not himself. Use the hallway's fire door as cover. To use the portable stone to move in the dark. It's not kind of the floor more stab Yakia to death is using the blind hand as a mark. 
Can it really be? It has to be. Can it really be? Really? You're the only one! Damn, I guess so. Tell. Could it be you? Huh? What? What are you talking about? Teru Teru's the killer? Is that true? What are you talking about? There's no way! Of course, that's simply my assumption. So if you have an objection, please speak freely. Objection or not, why am I being treated like the killer? Because the portable stove used in the murder came from the kitchen. That's it? That's the only reason you're treating me like a killer? Isn't that a little drastic? You're cruel. Cruel. Too cruel. Ah, uh, oh, Teru. That attitude is so not like you. For the ultimate cook to get so upset, call me chef. If you fall to aspersions like this, who will be there to support the future of the culinary arts? The, the future of the culinary arts? That's right. For the future of the culinary arts, you must face this and fight it fair and square. You, you're right. Yeah. That's totally right. So what's an aspersion anyway? Is it yummy? Did oh you know god. asbestos is yummy too? You should try some later. Oh my god. Nagito, why are you interfering? Let's assume that the killer used a light. And that they used the fire door to mask that light. And that they moved to the storage room and snuck under the floorboards. Then what? It's dark under the floorboards too. So how would they be able to stab Byakuya? You're not gonna say they shined the light on Byakuya, right? The plan would have been ruined if he noticed. That's right. What do you think about that? Oh, I think I already know the answer to that. There's no way you can answer, right? You personally haven't investigated what's beneath the floorboards. If that's the case, then Gundam should know. He actually went under the floorboards. No. Unfortunately, there was nothing related to the incident under the floorboards. The only thing I found was a strange liquid shining in the darkness, near where Byakuya's blood was dripping. What? A shining liquid in the dark? That sounds super important! If there was a shining mark like that, they would have been able to move to it in the dark, right? And in doing so, it might have been possible for them to use that mark to target the victim. It was targeted by a mark. What was that mark? Yeah, it had to be the, the paint. It's not on the list! I can prove it with this! Okay, whatever, I guess! The mark you're talking about is the glowing paint that was applied to the knife, right? Ah, by using the glowing paint as a target, they were able to judge where to stab, even in the dark! I see. The killer didn't target an actual person. They just struck the moment the glowing paint moved. That would be the moment someone grabbed a hold of the knife. So, the killer used the mark that I prepared for finding the knife as a mark for stabbing. I see. That's why Byakuya got killed when he took the knife. But if they were able to do that, wouldn't that mean the killer knew about Nagito's plan all along? Well, Teru Teru! S seriously I don't know anything. Really, I don't know anything at all. Then can I ask everyone a question instead? You again? Just stop already! N now, now. We should give everyone a fair opportunity to speak. If Teru Teru is the killer, that would mean he went to the storage room during the blackout. And just what did Ibuki hear during the blackout? Ah! Don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? Th this is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? 
she heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall? Doesn't that prove Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout? That's right! That's exactly it! But Teru Teru was in the kitchen the moment the blackout occurred, right? So, why was he in the dining hall? I, I thought the blackout was only in the kitchen. So I panicked and ran out of there. Of course, the hallway was dark too, but somehow I managed to move along the wall toward everyone's voices. Well, it's not that far to move along the wall from the kitchen to the dining hall. That sounds fishy. If I remember correctly, and you can tell when a person is lying by licking their sweat. So, if you want, you should try licking me. No way! You look greasy! But I heard Tara Tara's voice in the dining hall! Ibuki swears on her honor! That's right! Tara Tara was in the dining hall, not the storage room. Which means he's not the killer. No, that's not it. Why? Why do you want to keep falsely accusing me? It's not like I want to blame you. I just... You should be so proud of yourself, Hajime. You're just progressing toward the hope you believe in. Now, Hajime, show me more of your hope. Will that be enough to crush Teru Teru's hope? Let me ask you again. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. I was somewhere totally different. Mm -hmm. I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. It's handsome, unlike his face. <laughs> Maybe it was recording or something? Nope, definitely a live voice. Right. As long as I have her testimony. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be disputed. Okay. Let me ask you again. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. I was somewhere totally different. I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. It's handsome, unlike his face. Maybe it was recording or something? Nope, definitely a live voice. Right, as long as I have her testimony. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be... I'll shoot through that contradiction. I guess, whatever. Doesn't make any sense to me, but sure, why not? Just because we heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall doesn't mean he was literally in the dining hall. Huh? But why? Remember the floor in the dining hall? It was full of gaps, right? So even if you shouted from under the floor, it should have sounded just like the voices in the dining hall. But, 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 but... You see. So he brazenly shouted from under the floor to make us think he was in the dining hall. Is that true, Teru Teru? <laughs> Hold on a second. Can you explain this, Teru Teru? I told you to wait a sec, ain't I? <laughs> what are y'all even saying anymore? I'm telling you I was in that there dining hall during the blackout. Uh, what now? Where are you from again? Ooh, I was born in West Asafu and raised in South Aoyama. Hey, you guys! This guy's a major liar! If Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout, he should have been there after the power returned, right? Well, I believe so. There's no way he could have gone back and forth in that dark hallway. Huh? Was Teru Teru actually there during that time? I, I sure was! I was there the whole damn time! Something like this shouldn't be decided by gut instinct. People's lives are at stake. 
Damn right! You guys should have been deciding this on the spot with your hazy memories! His accent is getting even worse! He's definitely lying! However, I am not sure. I believe that he was there, and I believe that he was not there. No! Oh, is there any way we can decide? Why don't we consult his memories? His memories? Gosh, yeah, don't be saying things like that don't make no sense. Can you even prove I wasn't in the data hall? Probably can. Oh, 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 you again! I'm not sure. This is from Question Character himself. I can prove it with this. If you're claiming that you were in the dining hall when the power came back, then you should know how Mikan was positioned at the time. Oh, right? yeah. Whoa, what? No! Don't make me remember! It's so embarrassing! No. This is a very important question. Well, Terry Terry, if you were really in the dining hall at that time, you should know the answer to that. Huh? Huh? Um... It was a pretty clever way of tripping. There's no way you'd forget about it so easily. Well, if you actually wore clothes, that wouldn't How happen. about it? You can't answer, Teru Teru? Um... Um... Huh? Uh... Huh? That's weird. Just slipped from my mind. There's no, no way it would slip from your mind. Especially not a pervert like you. Uh... Um... Even so... <laughs> Nagito! Say something! Hmm... I guess you might have to give up now. Wait, give up? What do you mean, give up? Teru Teru. I'm disappointed too, you know. It's lonely watching someone I admire reach the limits of their hope. It kind of feels like a broken dream. Nagito, what are you doing? Why are you messing with the killer like that? Well, ho ho hold on a sec. Don't go moving this along on your own like I really am the killer. Huh? But it's already decided, right? No matter what, it hadn't been cleared up yet, Chef! No use. I can't understand him anymore. It appears he's saying the murder weapon hasn't been cleared up yet. You understand him? But it's such a sad defense. This is too cruel. Huh. Oh, you calling me the killer? Then where's the weapon? I know exactly what it was. Come on, Manumi! Enough with the whimpering and translate! Um... He said, if you're calling me the killer, then where's the weapon? Weapon, huh? It's not the knife, right? Judging from Jackie's wounds, it was a thin, edged tool that's roughly you know, five exactly millimeters in diameter. Also, if they stabbed from under the floorboards, the weapon would need to be at least 50 centimeters in length. Good catch. After all this, who cares about the weapon? Not good enough! Not good enough at all! He said, not good enough. Not good enough at all! Fine, I got it. Let's try thinking about what the weapon was. I know exactly... I know exactly um, what it was. He said, try to do it. What a confusing accent! I know, right? Anyway, I need to focus and think about this. Yep, I know exactly what it was. Already missing from there. Yep, 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 yep. If so, then that weapon is. I already know what it is. Come on, this is easy. I don't like the way this works now, though.
Fuck, where is an E? There's no E's. There's really no reason to make this take so damn long. That's it! The weapon must be the Iron Skewer! Before the party, as Byagiyo was confiscating all the dangerous items, he spoke to Taro Taro. Yep, one's missing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that missing iron skewer is the weapon? An iron skewer would match up with the wounds perfectly. Hey, Taro Taro, where'd you hide the iron skewer? Ah! 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 <laughs> huh? Did he really just say that? <laughs> He's just saying random shit to fuck with us. You probably dumped it somewhere oh, on the island, hell. didn't you? This school trip has a no littering rule. If he had violated it, the island sirens would be ringing non-stop. Island sirens? Just for littering? Also, I was on guard duty. And I never once saw Teru Teru leave the old building. Which means... He obviously hid it somewhere in the old building. Oh, yeah! It's probably the kitchen again, right? Probably! Teru Teru, just man up and be straight with us. Oh! 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 Woo! Finally, we're nearing the end. The corner of the puddle will be surrounded by soul shields and simply will not listen to what you have to say. Probably paying you to condemn your classmate, but this is a class trial after all. You must argue against your opponent and destroy their soul shields. High speed is metal. You beat down a panic upon excuses and nonsense. That's full cool time. Now. Sorry, the panic talk action. <laughs> PTA. Very to destroy your opponents. Yep. Got it. Yes, I'm old hat at this, man. You know, <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. Right. He said, um, oh, what the hell are you even saying, you stupid country hit? I guess <laughs> we have no choice but to somehow find out for ourselves. Thoroughly before the party started, which means already hidden where we couldn't find it. 
Yeah, there's only one place it could possibly be. Yeah. Where would that be? Where do you hide a long weapon with like an iron skewer? Yeah, it's pretty clear. At the time, the only place Yakia and I hadn't searched, it's probably that place. I'm not hiding that thing! He said, I'm not hiding anything! I'm not hiding anything! I'm not hiding anything! Okay. Let's do this! Thunder! <sighs> okay, well, that makes less That's sense. That's impossible! But... The weapon be. This is the end. Okay then. I got the order wrong. Could the iron skewer have been hidden inside the piece of meat on the bone? <laughs> what are you saying? There's no way I'd hide anything in a place like that. Th that's clearly impossible. I mean, that's inside the food. Impossible. That's what Biakiri and I thought. That's why we overlooked it. Yeah. But in fact, the only place he could hide the weapon was inside the food that couldn't be inspected. Out of all the dishes you prepared, the only one that could hide a weapon as long as an iron skewer is? The meat on the bone. What now? I'm using my right to remain silent. There's no way that exists here. We need to confirm this now. So if we eat that tasty looking piece of meat and find the iron skewer inside, bullseye. All right. Monokuma or Monami, one of you hurry and bring over that piece of meat. One minute. Just give me one minute. I'll eat the whole thing. Wait, now hold on a second. Time out, time out. What are you doing? Hurry up and bring it over. Uh, about that. Huh? <laughs> Where did Monokuma go? I'm right here. <laughs> I'm already eating it. Uh, a bear that eats meat. Well, uh, wait, duh. Now that I think about it, that's pretty normal. Right? Oh, no. oh, what is this? So yummy! Damn it! That's my meat! <laughs> I've never eaten anything like it in my entire life! The taste brings me back to my days in the wild. This, this is bad! Seriously, this is really bad! My, my! There's something inside the meat! Look what came out! Oh my! Isn't that... Is that... an iron skewer? Check it out. The handle looks like it's made of bone. Pretty clever. The sword of destruction! Encased in bone and sheathed in meat! It brought catastrophe unto Byakuya! As expected of Teru Teru! Such a fantastic weapon from the ultimate ship. <laughs> You're wrong. I'm not the killer. I'm not the kind of person who would kill someone. I got it. You all set me up. You guys set me up so you could blame this on me. Jeez, what a disappointment. Such an unseemly defense for an ultimate like you. Can you really call that hope? Hey, Nagito. I'm sorry, but can you just be quiet? Wow. He said, you're all nothing but a bunch of poor, loud now fast food eating hicks. You, you don't need to translate anymore. Somehow I can tell what he's trying to say. Let's just deal with Nagato later. More importantly, we should first... I guess we need to settle this. Once and for all. To do that, we need to go over the entire incident from beginning to right. end and make this everything part. clear. Go over the entire incident. And then I can prove Tedefero's crime. 
That's right. If we don't do that, we can't end this no matter how much time passes. So, we need to do it. I throb his chest thing. <laughs> Every case is one last. Yep. Closing argument. Complete summary. Got it. Sure. Got it. Oh, okay. Cool, thanks. Pretty sure I got this. Everything that happened in this case. Okay. Let's try going over the whole incident, beginning with right after the party started. Yakia had us gather in the dining hall of the old building near the hotel. He was extra cautious about a murder occurring that night because of a threatening letter he received. Therefore, he decided to throw a party so he could monitor us. Though one person didn't come, the rest of us assembled at the dining hall, and the party was underway. But at that time, <laughs> the trap set by a certain someone was already in motion. Oh, poor Becca. They plugged three irons into the outlets in the storage room, which nearly capped the power usage. Additionally, they prepared something else that would activate at 11.30 p.m. The air conditioners in the office and dining hall. They had already set the timers for these. Thanks to the irons maxing out the power usage, the breaker was tripped when the air conditioners kicked on. <laughs> Since the windows in the old building were covered, the blackout plunged the dining hall into total darkness. But when that happened, Byakuya took out a specific item that he brought in his case. That item was the night vision goggles. Byakuya was so concerned about a murder occurring that he brought a variety of security equipment with him. When he put on his night vision goggles, Byakuya witnessed a certain someone making a suspicious move. He saw Nagito guiding himself with the desk lamp's power cord so he could get under the table. That's right. Everything up to that point was all part of Nagito's plan. The murder warning to Byakuya, the source of the blackout, it was all Nagito. 
While the blackout was happening, someone else, the real killer, began making their move in the kitchen. The killer probably already knew about Nagito's plan, so they knew a blackout was coming. That's why the killer prepared all the items they would need to commit their crime in the dark beforehand. They needed a light source, which was provided by the portable stove in the kitchen. They needed a weapon, too. This had also been hidden in the kitchen beforehand. The long iron skewer used in the churrasco dish. The killer hid that inside that meat with the bone in it. With the weapon and portable stove in hand, the killer stepped out into the hallway. First, they closed the fire door in the hallway so their light source wouldn't peek toward the dining hall. Then, guided by the light, the killer headed toward the storage room and grabbed a specific item. That's right, a tablecloth to block the blood splatter. With this, the killer finished their preparations and snuck under the floorboards through the secret passage. They probably turned off the portable cooking stove at that point, or left it near the entrance of the door. The floor in the dining hall is full of gaps, so there's no way they could have safely held a light source. But thanks to the glowing mark they painted early, the killer was able to get beneath the table. Under the table, Byakuya found the knife that had been hidden there. If only he had retreated, he probably wouldn't have gotten killed, but he had to retrieve that knife. And at that moment, the killer lurking beneath the floorboard stabbed straight up with the iron skewer. The killer had been waiting in the dark for the moment when the glowing paint began to move. After they murdered Byakuya, the killer purposefully shouted from beneath the floorboards to make it seem like they were still in the dining hall. Afterward, they came out from underneath the floorboards and rushed back to the kitchen. And then, after hiding the murder weapon in the kitchen, they rejoined the group as if nothing had happened. There's only one person who would have been able to commit this crime. Especially if that person is someone who'd think of an unexpected way to hide a weapon inside food. Isn't that right, Teru Teru Hanamura? That's what happened. How about it? Did I get anything wrong? Th this is a mistake. A mistake, I tell you, I would never, I would never kill anyone. Would never. <laughs> it seems this is the end. <laughs> I don't even want to know how bad I acted in some misfortune. Actually, not terrible. Nice. Yeah, I didn't get a difficulty bonus. I don't really care. <laughs> it looks like your argument has come to a close. Finally. Whoops! I lost control of my wild side for a second. Was that a side effect of the meat I just ate? Well, putting that aside, let's move along to the nerve-wracking voting time! Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote! Oh, oh boy! Just a reminder, make triple sure you vote for someone! If you don't vote, I'm gonna eat you up just like that meat from earlier! <laughs> Why did this happen? Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? 
<laughs> Such heart pounding <laughs> excitement! We all know how this goes. Correct! Yahoo! That's right! This time the black and responsible for killing Byakyo Togami is Tanner Tanner Hanamara! Or Hanam, whatever. No, 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 Are you serious? Yeah. Out of all these people, are you saying a pots like him is the one who killed Byakya? Yeah. But. <laughs> Why did you kill him? You've got it wrong! It, it was a mistake. I'm telling you, it was just a mistake. I was only trying to save you guys. Hey! I, I was only trying to stop Nagito from murdering one of you! Huh? Trying to stop- what do you mean? Uh-huh! I, I spent all morning in the old building preparing the dishes for the party, and, and then... I heard weird laughter in the dining hall, and when I peeked over there... I saw him. I saw Nagito in the middle of cleaning duty, putting the knife under the table. <laughs> I had a bad feeling about it, so I continued to watch what he was doing. And I saw him place the irons he brought in the storage room and mess with the air conditioner timers. Plus, he was grinning, just grinning by himself the whole time. So I questioned him. When oh, that when happened, that... he. You caught me? Oh, I've been caught? What? Been caught? Hey! What are you doing? What are you scheming? <laughs> I'm planning to kill someone, of course. Huh? <laughs> terror, terror, just to let you know, it's pointless of you to stop me. If you stop me now, it doesn't matter. I will never give up. Whether it's tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, or the day beyond that, I'll definitely start the killing. Impossible! What? No matter how much you want to leave this island, that's just... I see, so that's what you think. Well... But that's not it at all. This isn't about my survival. I just want the killing to start. What? What are you saying? <laughs> I love everyone here. That's why I want to be of use to them. I love all of the Ultimates, and I admire them for being symbols of hope. Amazing! That's right. In the name of hope, I love everyone's talents from the bottom of my heart. That's why... <laughs> I don't want them to lose against something like killing. I want them to, pro to prove to me that hope will never lose, no matter how daunting the despair they face may seem. <laughs> I want everyone to prove that hope will never lose to despair. No, 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 no. Oh, what are you saying? I don't understand at all. See? Isn't it typical that you, if you face a strong enemy, you will become even stronger yourself? Which means the stronger the despair you face, the stronger everyone's hope will become, right? I... I want to see that brightness, and in order to see it, I'm going to become everybody's stepping stone. I want to make your hope shine. It's as simple as that. <laughs> That's right. I yearn for a powerful hope that can overcome any kind of despair. You're kidding, uh, right? Are you kidding? Don't tell me. You're actually serious? Man. So you don't understand. That's fine. I don't really mind. <laughs> I'm just an obsessed fanboy, so it's alright that this love of mine is requited. I suppose. I can be called the ultimate, ultimate fanatic! No way, no way, no way! You, you there's something wrong with you! <laughs> really? Do you really think so? Do you really think there's something wrong with me? Hey. What? Isn't that what love is? Oh my god. Nagito, what is the meaning of this? Explain it to me! I don't understand anything about this story at all! See? You see, if you have a favorite boxer, don't you want him to fight against a strong opponent and win? Don't fuck with me! You better not compare us to that! What? Huh? Am I wrong? It's a given that trials are necessary to become strong, and the harsher the trial, the stronger you become, no? <laughs> for mere humans, killing is simply a tragedy, but... For worthy humans, a trial such as this can elevate their status to an even higher level. Amazing! It's amazing to me that someone as untalented as myself can become that trial. 
There's no point in someone like me surviving. It's far more significant for me to die as a one's trial. Great! There's no greater honor than becoming the Foundation so that your values may ascend to brave new heights. What's going on? Stop it. You're seriously starting to piss me off. What's going on? I don't understand at all. Are you saying you basically wanted to commit murder for fun? <laughs> it's not the same as someone killing for fun, but I guess it would look the same in your eyes. I... I have no intention of surviving and leaving you all to die. Is that why you didn't mind when Terror Terror discovered your plan? That's wrong. Or perhaps that was intentional too? <gasps> so... Nagito wanted to involve us in the killing. Plus, it would be better for him if the mystery was more complex. Is that what you blatantly revealed to your plan to Terror Terror? You expected to pique Terror Terror's curiosity. And you look forward to the mystery becoming more complex. Whoa. Well, you're basically right. It's true I was looking forward to that. That's why I took the time to tell him about the secret passage I found while I was cleaning. What? That was your doing as well? You're right. I just casually mentioned it. Oh, it's dangerous if you fall, so don't go too close to it. <laughs> oh my god, I feel bad about this now. Hey, 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 hey. He's seriously batshit crazy. He's insane. I, uh, that's right. That's why I tried to stop him, you know? However... But why... Why did you kill Byakya instead? I don't know! Because Nagito was the one who was supposed to take that knife! That's why I aimed and thrusted the iron skewer there! <laughs> oh, but why is Byakya the one who died? It was supposed to be Nagito, not him! Byakya probably tried to stop Nagito, Nag Nagito from grabbing the knife. And then in place of Nagito... Nope. No, I don't think that's it. Huh? Perhaps... Byakya was probably trying... To protect Nagito. What? What did you say? See? Cause Byakya said so, didn't he? Don't worry as long as I'm a leader on that it would become a I will leader. guide you all. Right. <gasps> could could it be in order to keep that promise? Hmm. As long as he was wearing the night vision goggles, I'm sure he saw someone moving under the floorboard. And that someone was aiming for Nagito. Why? So Byakya gave his life to protect Nagito? Even though he was trying to take the knife? <laughs> I see. Byakya is amazing. To keep his promise to protect everyone, he actually threw his own life away. And yet... Such despair. I never expected an ending like this. What? <laughs> but we shouldn't let him die in vain. I'm sure everyone will become even stronger by overcoming this despair. No way. Could it be? You knew Byakyo would protect you, so you set him up to fail? Someone like me? Of course not. I'm not that good at calculating. I just took some precautionary measures. The results of that were going to be my fun for later. Just kidding. How unexpected. But I never expected it would turn out like this. I never thought I'd be the one to survive. But since it was my life that had been saved, I didn't want to just waste it. So that's why I decided to help Terra Terra. Why? <laughs> well, because Terra Terra decided to commit his crime because he also had strong hope, right? Which means his actions were motivated by hope. If he was willing to go that far, I thought he might truly be the person whose existence I was waiting for. <laughs> I thought he might be the hope that could defeat my any type of despair. In order for me to confirm it, I decided to help Terra Terra. What do you mean, confirm? Just stop it already. Well... Plus, I couldn't really help myself when I also emphasized... E emp empathized... with Terra Terra. After all, he wanted to kill me, but he ended up killing Byakia instead, you know? If I left him in that confused state, this trial might have been ruined, right? Isn't that right? But in order for our hope to grow, this trial was absolutely necessary. That's why I decided to help him. I told him, I don't care if I die, so you should just plan and focus on escaping this island. Right? Those were my exact words to him before the investigation. Isn't that right, Terra Terra? Man. In the end, my help just wasn't enough, and this turned out to be a bad ending for Terra Terra. <laughs> but you should be proud of yourself. You will not die in vain. Great. You will become a splendid sacrifice for everyone else so their hopes can grow even more powerful. Impossible. Sacrifice. Shut up. Shut Seriously, up. Seriously, stop it already. I'm going to go crazy just listening to you. Hey, hey. Is it really okay for us to just have this crazy- leave this crazy bastard alone like this? Huh? Isn't it better if we just fucking kill him off? Yeah! Kill him!
real, he said. High school students are so violent these days. <laughs> but the person who's gonna get killed now is Hanagito. It's Teru Teru. What's the matter? You didn't forget, right? Because I told you already at the beginning, right? If the blackened killer loses, a fun punishment awaits them. Oh, wait. Uh, hold on. No, 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 that no, no, no. was, how should I put it? An accident. Uh, an act of self-defense. Uh, not intentional. Anyway, I feel like it's possible it's not my fault. Hey! It doesn't matter if it's an accident, self-defense, or an intentional murder is still a murder. If you kill someone, that's murder. Hey, hey! But isn't there anything like sympathy judgments, extenuating circumstances, or maybe even probation? Impossible! I don't accept any of those claims! Th that's... That's not... Hey, hey! Save me, you guys. I was only trying to stop Nagito, so... Why? Be you? honest. After learning about Nakito's plan, you saw an opportunity, right? You probably thought nobody would find out if you killed him after messing up his plan, right? That's what you thought, right? Wrong! You're wrong. I. Hmm. There's no way a person who has no malice would kill someone like that. <sighs> In truth, you were just desperate to kill Nagito willing to sacrifice everybody else to survive, right? Just be honest already, at least in the end. No, 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 no. That is... Teru Teru. Why? If only you didn't try to kill Nagito, Yakuya would still be alive. Answer me. Why did you try to commit murder? Answer me, Teru Teru. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I... I just... I just wanted to go home. I needed to go back home no matter what! Because she's waiting for me. Mama is waiting for me at home. She's waiting all by herself for the day I graduate with Pink Academy and come home. Okay, I'm going now. When I come back, I think we should talk again about opening an Aoyama and Azabu location. That's really sad. Oh my, you're still talking about that? Oh, I'm serious. The Academy guarantees success for its graduates, right? So, I know it's gonna be difficult by yourself, but wait for me until then, okay? Yes, you're right. Then I'll just have to do my best to keep the Hanamura Diner from going out of business until then. Mom, you don't have to work so hard. What if you collapse again while I'm gone? I'll be fine. Moms are strong. I won't lose to some illness. <laughs> I know that already. I, I know that already. I promised... I promised her I'd become a full-fledged cook and save the Hanamura Diner. Mama is waiting for me to keep that promise. Even though she's sick and alone, she's still waiting for me. That's why I need to go home! Uh, Teru Teru? <laughs> but if we, told our, if we were told our memories were stolen, and that several years have passed since our first day. Hey! Then what happened to the Hanamura Diner? What happened to my mom who's still waiting for me? <clears throat> so you did believe what Monokuma said. Damn it! You were saying all along, it's okay, I'll never believe something like this. So why? Wrong! I still don't believe it. <laughs> There's no way I can believe it. It has to be a lie. That's why I wanted to go home! I wanted to go home and confirm it. I wanted to make sure it was all just a lie. I wanted to make sure that I still have a place to call home. <coughs> Teru Teru, you... I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's not that Teru Teru didn't believe it. He believed it more than anybody else here. That's why he kept denying it, because he believed that he needed to deny it. Damn it, if only I knew how he felt, something like this never would have happened. I... I wanted to confirm by any means necessary. I had to do something. 
That's when I heard Nakito's plan. I found out he was gonna kill someone if I left him alone. <laughs> That's why... Fine, fine! So, you wanted the first kill? I'm sorry. It doesn't mean I wanted to sacrifice any of you, but it was the only thing I could do. And I ended up killing Byakuya instead of Nagito. I see. I think I'm the one who went crazy. Teru Teru. <laughs> I see, I see. Interesting, but... As far as what is the killer concerned, wanting to see your mom is boring. What? So... Yahoo! It seems there's no point to bask in the afterglow, so let's hurry up and begin the punishment. You can't. Jeez, get out of my way. <sighs> well, now. There, now that a new Orient little sister has been dealt with, let's get back to business. Wait! Hold on a sec. I'm not asking for forgiveness anymore. But at least... Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! Hey! Call me Chef! No, wait, that's not what I... Please! Please tell me at least, what happened to the Hanamura Diner? To Mama? Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Lies! I won't believe this! Mama! Oh, God! <laughs> that is so sad! Damn! This is gonna be nasty, isn't it? Oh god. Oh, God. She's rushing through me! Ah! Teru Teru! Damn it! Are you fucking serious? <laughs> How cruel! Why? Why? Why did you do something so cruel? Wah wah? Huh? Didn't you learn when you were in elementary school? If you badmouth someone, the teacher writes it in a note and makes whoever you badmouth read it to you in front of the class! No! When that happens, only then do you think about how it feels to be badmouthed. The same applies to murder. What are you saying? You're not the one who drove him to do it. Er, you're the one, rather. Sorry. <laughs> so cruel. This is just too cruel. Nice! Well, it can't be helped. Rules are rules, and this is a killing rule, after all. What rule? You're the one who's been breaking the rules. Hmm? I can't just let that slide. What do you mean? When you mentioned the motive, did you also promise something? There's catch. Don't do the catches. You're not yet. Just go by me just turn you. Oh yeah. That's right. 
What? Why? Why didn't you tell Teratur about his mom or his diner? You had a right to know. Yeah. You. Us too. We all have a right to know. Bastard! Hey, hurry up and tell us. What did you mean earlier when you mentioned our school memories? <laughs> oh yeah, I did promise to return your memories after the killing began. <laughs> uh, you're gonna do it, but telling them is kind of. <laughs> but I never told you guys that I'd tell you right away. What? Huh? Not fair. Of course! I'll keep my promise to you returning your memories someday. But it's still not clear when that someday will actually be. <laughs> I must excuse myself as well. There's something that I need to do. Huh? What the heck? S so cruel! That's not fair! They both ran away! Then... Monokuma had us wrapped around his finger after all. Stupid! Terror, terror, you stupid! Such despair. An ending like this is just full of despair. A seriously tragic despair. But still, at times like this... <laughs> as a symbols of hope, you guys need to keep doing your best! You... Why are you smiling? Crap! How can you smile in a situation like this, you creep? Nope. Hold on. I'm sad too, you know. Didn't I tell you? From the bottom of my heart, I truly love you all. You ultimate to inspire hope and your splendid talents. There's no way I can be happy when we've lost such a talented individual. Don't fuck with me! Don't go saying creepy shit, I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> Please, kill me anytime. What? If you hate me, I don't mind you killing me. I've already prepared myself to become your stepping stone. Someone like me. If absolute hope can be more from that, then my life is, so is nothing special. Mm. You, how messed up are you? Hey. However, if you're gonna kill me, make sure you discuss it with me beforehand, okay? You see, if you do that, then I can cooperate with the killer. Are you seriously intending to help the killer? <laughs> It's really not that big of a deal. If you're students of Hope Seek Academy, if you're the symbols of Hope you possess the chosen talent, great. Then it shouldn't matter to you guys at all if I cooperate with the killer, right? You fiend. Declaring so confidently that you'll side with the killer. Hey! Maybe this is his plan all along. Since he's willing to work with the killer, he wants us to think it's better for us not to kill him. Well. I don't mind what you think of me. In actuality, thanks to Byakuya, I'm starting to feel a small desire to live. This is exciting! Mostly, I just want to watch everyone destroy all the despair that comes for you, one after the other. <laughs> just kidding. You pissed me hey, off. Hey, can I punch you? I just won't be satisfied till I punch you. Fine. Let's stop this already. It's just going to be a waste of time if we keep dealing with him. What? Huh? Even Hajime hates me now? How unfortunate. That stings. I thought you and I were quite similar. What is that? Isn't that right? You hold a special feeling towards the Academy, just like me. Don't put me in the same category as you. Hey. But how can you say you're not? Monokuma said it himself. We don't know anything about each other's true nature. <laughs> no, if it's true that our school memories were stolen, it's the same as not knowing our true selves, too. Especially for you, right? Someone who can't even remember what his talent is. Akane, please feel free to punch him. <laughs> Will do! Wait! Hold on! Please, please stop! Stop this at once! Nothing will come from fighting like this. There... There is something else that we must do. Huh? Something else? Please listen! We must not argue with each other in a place like this. There is something more important we must do. Let me ask. Which is? Do our best. You fiend. Well? We must first leave here and get some rest. And then we shall all work together and do our best. Do our best so we never have to come back here again. Perhaps. This is what I believe we must do right now. I am sorry. If only I was a better motivational speaker. No, that really touched my heart. You're totally right. What we need to do right now is do our best. If we do our best, it's definitely going to pay off, right? Yes. That is right. Like... But what do we have to work so What do we have to work hard at? <laughs> I do not know when we must do our best. Jeez. 
I don't get you at all. Are you some kind of moron? Well? It's fine if you don't know. What matters is that you hold on to the feeling that you have to do your best. Right? So, let's do our best. Make sure a killing like this never happens again. But... It's scary, but doing our best is our only option. And there's no way I'm doing what Nagito said. I'm gonna do it! Alright, I don't know what you're all talking about, but let's do our best for now. Fine. Very well. Even if we are not able to change the future, I guess I should at least change my tomorrow. <laughs> Damn fiend, I won't give up until the very end. I won't die in vain. I'll give my entire existence, my entire power, my entire body and soul and fight to the very end. Yeah, you're right. Let's definitely work together and leave this island. Do our best. We kept using that phrase over and over again. Even though we knew they were just cheap, meaningless, empty words. Regardless, we still said it. And we continue to say it over and over again without stopping. Thus, the curtain had fallen upon the class trial where Bi Byakia and Terutero were sacrificed. Afterwards, we left the trial grounds and returned to the mainland of Jabberwock Island. For the time being, we decided to go back to our cottages. After experiencing something like that, there's no way I could fall asleep. I gave up, got out of bed, and began walking around the hotel grounds for no real reason. After not doing much of anything, I dully looked up at the sky. And there, just like before, there it was. The night sky brimming with stars. The stars that looked like they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. As I looked up at such a beautiful night sky, I can go anywhere. The thought crossed my mind for some reason. The sky is connected to anywhere, even to my daily life. That's why I might be able to go home. That's right, I'm definitely going to go home. Hmm? That's when it happened. As I stared up at the night sky, I felt a strange convergence of sensation. And then, while I continued to stare at the night sky, I felt my entire body stiffen with that sensation. Isn't this... Is someone watching me? What the hell? With that being the case, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.